Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. I thought today I would do a little extra video, a little tutorial on how we use course play to unload a combine and dump the grain automatically so you can get on with other jobs or other things at the farm and don't have to keep stopping and going back to your combine to unload it. First things first is our kit. Obviously I didn't skimp, gotta use good kit. So first things first, we need to jump into our combine and get that set up. We already have a combine course set up um, from a previous game, so uh, let me just load that up. Drive course, he should just go on his merry way straight off. Yep, that all looks good to me. Now what you do with a tractor, you need to create a course that is the second one at the bottom here, the combi, empty combine and offload. Um, and what we've got to do here is got to start recording the course. So what I'm going to do is get myself into a position to start the course. Because this is where it's going to start and you want something kind of practical. So we'll start the course here. You can close that while you're doing it so you can move your mouse around and you just set going. Now we know where we're going to go and it's literally around this corner up to the farm and into the grain elevator so through this gate we're going to do a loop course actually but you can do a, you can do an out and back um, this this doesn't seem to like you reversing particularly so if you can do a course where you can drive into a silo and then drive out of the other side that's beneficial but here we go here's our silo let's make sure I don't mess this up and you literally have to just drive over it stop in an appropriate place for a couple of seconds and then head back on your way now this is what's nice about this farm on this map. You can go out of another gate and down another road back to the finish. And so we're just going to make this nice and simple for this tutorial. Head back down to the main road. I imagine that combine's on pretty... getting pretty full already. Might be over 50%. Um, and what should happen I'll show you what we'll do. The last little setting we need to do when we get back is set an alert for when the combine gets to 90%. The tractor can go and chase that combine, chase him down, and let him unload. So in we go here, and we'll just run along, kind of loosely join up. To where we finished here so he'll stop again here when he comes back to the field okay and then really the last thing we need to do is manage a combine we need to search for a combine on a field which is the axial flow which is the one we're on field 15 and that is that now you can save it if you want so let's call this um, call Combine unload field 15. Save and we just drive the course to the nearest waypoint, which is the one it's at. And I will jump back to our combine, which is already on 73%. You can see the tractor at the bottom of the hill, that's one of the benefits of this field. Great field for this. And when he gets to 80 or 90%, we should. There's the bleeper going for 80% on the combine. We should start to see him move in about 8% if I've set this up right. And this combine holding around about, I think it's about 14,000 litres in the tank. The trailer we've got holds a lot more than that and you'll find that the trailer will only go and unload when it's full, so when the trailer's full. So it will, it will take on as many loads from the combine as it needs to. 
So there we are at 95%. The combine is reversing. What it'll do here, because it's on a headline where there's no space at the edge of the field, it will cut into the next lane. And it will pull up and it will wait. And what it'll do is, as soon as the alert goes on, it's ready to unload, we should see that tractor move. We should. And there it goes. Course play is a very clever tool, but sometimes the, the path that it picks when it's asked to work it out for himself can be a little bit odd. See it cutting over the cutting over, cutting over the bale swath there. A bit odd, but seems to be moving pretty well. Switch back to the combine here. Just watch him as he pulls up. See that target has just appeared, which means he's in range of the combine's pipe. Pipe goes out, tractor stops, and we are unloading into our trailer. Now once he's finished unloading, our tractor is going to reverse slightly to allow the combine to come out of that cutout that he's created in the second headland. Get back on his merry way. There we go. Right on cue. So we'll let him go on his merry way now. Put it on a time lapse for speed. So just cutting back to the tractor now, you can see there's 60% the trailer full so it's not going to take another full load from the combine so what we'll do is be able to see what will happen when you've got a full trailer next Combine at 90% now, 95%. He's going to lift his header and cut in again because he's still on his first pass. So I believe if we cut back to our tractor any second now, once he's cut into that headland, we can see him over in the distance just about to do that. The tractor will start moving towards the combine. There he goes. As soon as the little alert comes up, We'll see it on the left hand side of the screen there. Hook tool needs to be uploaded. In just a few seconds, our tractor will kick in. And there you go, drive to combine. She's going to head down the hill to meet the combine. I don't think we need to watch that in all its glory, do we? So we shall cut back to its arrival at the combine. So here's our tractor coming into position. Just lining himself up with the combine. He will fill up the rest of his trailer. There we go. Trailer at 100%. Combine will move off. And carry on doing his thing. And if we've set this up correctly. The tractor will head off now to the silo and get rid of this load. So there we are, the tractor's got past the combine now. So he's joining the start of the course. We'll creep out of the gate there and he will run this up to the farm. Now as we set the course for this, 
he should be a little bit more smooth than you saw on the field there, a little bit of zigzagging and the slow speeds. That was a generated course, course player was generating that course on the fly. This one is one that uh, we set, so it will follow that to the letter with a little bit more speed. We can also set the speeds, so there's the field speed, maximum 14 miles an hour, street speed, reversing speed and turn speed. So you can actually bump these up a little bit if you want, we'll do that actually. So field speed we can go up to I think about 20, say a turn speed of 10, there we go. That'll make him move a little bit quicker in the field next time he's chasing the combine. But for now he will pull into here. And hopefully, yep, instinctively, no touching of buttons from myself, he's unloading that first load. Trailer back down, and he heads back to the field. This is where we might see the change in the speed that I set up. Maybe moving a lot more quickly now, and he will stop at the end point of the tractor course. I'm trying to be smart there and unload as the trailer drives past. And he will now wait. He's already been told to drive to combine. Look at that. So there you go, course play, absolutely brilliant, can't fault it, it's such a clever, clever tool, it'll make such a difference to your, uh, your time working when you're only doing a single player game.